Um, the look is we're bringing everything back to nature today with the collection, so we wanted to keep all the girls just be really beautiful, nice center parting, the hair is down in a really natural way. The, the girls have to be, they're young, they're cool, there's like an ease and carelessness to them. They each have their hair pulled down tight and just stick a bobby pin on each side so it's, it's visible to see. It's like, no apologies, this is how they are. So the Morgan Taylor team came up with um, a really cool graphic design. We took inspiration from a pattern on the boots in the collection. So we have a Morgan Taylor birthday suit and then we layered it with In the Nude and a little black dress, literally using a kitchen sponge. We wanted a really strong graphic. The idea was she was looking for digging in the dirt and we wanted to bring it up a little bit, a little bit of Morgan Taylor sophistication. So we were just going for a really strong graphic. The looks for today, well before I even saw the clothes, I spoke to Maria and she said, make them look like they came in from the cold. Ta-da! <laughs> so complicated. Um, red lipstick on the nose, cheeks, down to the jawline a little bit. A dot of the same red in the middle of the lower lip. A little bit of grease with a bit of pearl around the eye. A bit of gloss on the eyebrows. Nothing graphic, no liner, no mascara, no powder. A little bit of foundation if need be, but mostly it's about this energy in the face that looks like you've been rushed in from the cold. Just energy, just I mean, and you see, of course you see them in their civilian clothes, but then when you see them in the look and they're all kind of bundled up and wrapped and it's, you know, it sort of makes sense of the way they look. Well, I was feeling that everything right now needed to be slowed down. And, you know, we worked really hard for the last, since the last presentation, well, December 6th, which was the last collection. So we basically had six, six weeks when you cut out Christmas and stuff to do a collection, which is really complicated. And it was really nice to slow it down and let people see it all and appreciate it all. And then to peel it back to one outfit at a time because I think sometimes people get they don't really get the gist of it because it's so slow so I thought just by bombarding them with all the information first and then dissecting it one by one it would be a great way to put the message across I hope it worked inspiration was the idea of an escape, a trek, um, going out into nature and it's um, about you know clothes that are transitional and the fact that we're all looking for that little peace of mind and nature and nature is like the most beautiful designer. All the textiles are inspired by nature and you know like the terrain patterns and things that you find out and I just thought it would be fun to do that and also the woman that I dress is very much a working moving woman is not somebody who sits there and just gets photographed. So they're clothes that you can move in, that are transitional, that are hopefully sensual, not sexy, but sensual, and the idea of like things that have an ease to them. I like the I like the collection. It's nice. I'm wearing a green blouse and it's very nice. It's long and then I have some shorts. You can't really see them. But I feel very good in the clothes. I feel pretty. I feel like a princess. We're using a lot of cottons, like all the jackets were cotton. Um, even though they look heavy, they were made in France. All our fabrics are custom made in France or Italy or Japan. And then we produce uh, most of the collection in New York. It's made in New York, except for the shoes and the knitwear.
independent thinking, working women who have style <laughs> and don't follow trends.